Hello, Flanagan's. How can I help you? Oh, yes. Hello. I'd like to book a table for tomorrow night for six people, please. Yes, madam. And what sort of time? About eight. Let me see. Uh, yes, that's fine. And what's the name, please? It's Branson. That's fine, Miss Branson. So, a table for six at eight o'clock. We'll see you tomorrow evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good evening. Uh, do you have a reservation? Oh, hello, yes. It should be under the name of Branson. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. A table for six. Your table will be just a couple of minutes. Uh, would you like to have a drink at the bar first? And I can bring you some menus as well. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Sounds mm. good. Why not? Well, it all looks very good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, are you ready to order? Yes. Is there anything you recommend? Well, the fish is very good today. Well, as a starter, I'd like the soup. And then to follow, I'll have the salmon with dill butter. Thank you very much. That was very good. And uh, would you like to see the dessert menu? Uh, no, I don't think so. Just some coffee, I think. And the bill, please. Yes, certainly. Very good, sir. Well, that was really good. I'll leave a good tip. Yes, we should. It's excellent here. We must come again. Can you tell us about your company? My company is the Cavendish Consultancy. It is a corporate entertainment and corporate event company based in West London. It operates in all sports, show business and performing arts, mainly in the United Kingdom, but we also tender for overseas events, which gives us the opportunity to spread our knowledge and skills and expertise around the world. What are the most popular events for corporate entertaining? The most popular events remain the major sports and the major events in those sports. Within sports it does vary. For example, those sports where the rules are fairly simple and straightforward are more popular. Thus, cricket, which is a personal um, like of mine, is not actually one of the most popular because the rules are fairly complicated. Horse racing is very successful. Football, soccer, as it's called in many countries around the world, but football in England <laughs> is very popular. Um, motor racing works well. And then moving on to the entertainment side, the theatre, pop concerts, musicals particularly. Um, for a number of years, Phantom of the Opera has been very popular in New York and in London and in many other cities around the world where it has showed. Is corporate entertainment changing as the economy changes? Cavendish has been in business 30 years, so we've seen two, if not three, recessions. In fact, were founded in 1981, which was a recession in the UK. And it does change, and it's also changed enormously over those 30 years. The quality of the product that we develop, deliver now is vastly superior, much, much better than the product we delivered in 1981. The, the recent downturn, and particularly because the downturn has affected the financial sector, and the financial sector was a very big entertainer, has changed quite significantly, not so much the product, but people have reduced budgets, and when they reduce budgets, they have, act, perhaps surprisingly, not gone for a cheaper product, but just taken fewer people to the expensive product. So the top of the range hospitality is holding up better than the less expensive alternatives. What do you think makes a corporate event successful? First, you have to identify your aim, your purpose 
in entertaining people at this particular event. That's absolutely key. If you don't know why you're doing it, probably don't do it. Um, then, having identified why you're doing it, it's all the planning and all the little things. You can have the very best sporting event, the very best pop concert, but if the little things go wrong, that's what people remember. So it's contingency planning, it's having backups. And if it rains, have some umbrellas there. The catering is absolutely vital. People now expect a very high standard of food and drink. And then bear in mind that it is the staff on the day who will meet all the guests. It's not the overall event organiser. I can't meet every guest of every, at every Cavendish event. It's the quality and the training and the briefing of the staff that you employ on the day is absolutely key. And the last thing I would say is always follow up afterwards. And I think that gives the opportunity to cement the relationship. Did you enjoy the day? And what else would you like to go to? And those sorts of things. The most extravagant event I ever heard of was in July 1998 when the British Grand Prix, the motor race at Silverstone, was on the same day as the FIFA Soccer World Cup final in Paris. And it was then possible to get a helicopter from central London to Silverstone. Now Silverstone is about 60 miles, 100 kilometres northwest of London. So you helicoptered to the ground, you watched Michael Schumacher win the race, you helicoptered back to London Heathrow, the big airport just to the west of London, and then you flew in an aeroplane that was then the best aeroplane in the world, Concorde, to Paris. It didn't go supersonic, um, that is above the speed of sound, um, but you did go to Paris in Concorde and flew back that night. So in less than 24 hours, you had seen a Formula One motor race and the World Cup.